In this video, you'll learn how to schedule an automated physical server backup job using Vinchin Backup and Recovery. The software now supports backup of Windows, CentOS, and Red Hat Enterprise Linux servers with simple configurations. First, let's open and log into the Vinchin Backup Server web console. To create a backup job for server, please go to Physical Backup, Server Backup, Backup page, here's an intuitive wizard to guide you through the job creation process. Step 1. Choose a backup source. All licensed servers will be shown in the list here. You can select the hosts you want to backup from the group tree and expand the group until you see the hosts. Click on the selected hosts. You can select or exclude the partitions or disks from this backup job by unticking the front checkbox of the partitions or disks. Once done, click Next. Step 2. Choose a backup destination. In the Backup Destination section, select Backup Storage to save all the backup data. When done selecting the backup storage, please click on Next to continue. Step 3. Set up backup strategy in detail. The backup strategy section is where you can flexibly schedule the server backup job with a bunch of features. In general strategy, you can schedule the backup time and methods. To determine the backup window of this job, the time windows indicator can be a reference for you to determine in which time window the job should be scheduled. In the Time Schedule field, you can configure the job as a backup as scheduled job or a once-off backup job. For a once-off backup job, the job will only run for once, and only full backup will be performed. You only have to appoint a time of when to start the backup job in the Time Schedule field. For an as scheduled backup job, you can further set up the backup strategies with full backup, incremental backup, differential backup, and forever incremental backup mode available, and choose each types of backup to run at a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. If you want to set restrictions on the transfer speed of backup, especially when you want to do backups during business hours without affecting the production network too much, you can expand the speed controller field and click on add policy to set a max speed for data transport. There are three features that you can see in the data storage policy field, which are data deduplication, data compression, and data encryption. Data deduplication works to exclude duplicated data blocks. Data compression will compress the backup data and then save it into backup storage. And data encryption will encrypt the backup data in the backup storage. You can also set up a retention policy for the job. If you choose number of restore points as the retention mode, the backup server will only keep a certain number of full restore points. If you choose number of days as the retention mode, then the backup server will save restore points within a specific number of days. Once the retention policy is triggered, data that exceeds the restore point or day limit will automatically be merged for policy compliance. In transfer threads, you can define how many threads you want to use for data transfer. The value of transmission threads is 3 by default, and you can change it into any integral number between 1 to 32. Multi-threaded transmission can greatly improve the transmission speed and make full use of network resources. But please note that the number of threads for the job running at a time cannot exceed the number of logical cores on the host of the backup system. Under the transmission strategy, you could set encrypted transmission to encrypt the transmission path of the backup job, ensuring data security. In Transmission Network, if you select other networks, please ensure that they are connected to the host. Under the Advanced Strategy, the Valid Data Extraction allows system only backup valid data, otherwise the entire partition will be backed up. After all settings are configured, click Next. After completing all the settings, you are able to review and confirm the settings in one screen. Give the backup job a name and submit the job. Then, the physical server backup job will automatically run as scheduled, and you can go to Monitor Center Jobs page anytime to check the job running status. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.